first saw the Propel actually a long time ago. I got uh, shown it some pictures by the people working in Giant. So I have been waiting for this bike for a really long time. So when I first got it on Monday, it was a really special experience. It's uh, always exciting getting a new bike and the Propel has been in the makings for a year. It was the first bike I started riding on Giant, go already back in 2021. Uh, so now to be able to get like the new model, yeah, it, it feels like Christmas every time, like uh, you have a new bike there. Last year, I met up with a design team from Giant and I had a bit of a crazy ambition for my bike. I wanted one side of the bike to be Norwegian and the other side to be Taiwanese. To see it from the sketches uh, on the document and into real life, super shiny, nice, very clean, white, gold. We have the harbor on the Shane's Day, my birthday written in old Norwegian Viking language. A little bit of the Olympic glory from last year, the gold details. And we have some symbols representing Taiwan and the map over Norway and Taiwan. Squeezing in the three trophies we've been able to win together, but it's also a little bit of open space above, so it's more to come and it's space for more titles for the future. I have a really special relationship with Taiwan all the way back since uh, 2019, and I wanted to show that and bring that to my bike because my bike is also really special to me. It's something that I use in training and also in racing, and uh, it's something that I feel like should be in mine. So to have this bike being so custom to me and with all the little design pieces, just make the bike something really, really special to me. The first bike I got from Giant was the Propel back in 2019. History with me and Giant started back in early 2021. So I've been riding the Propel, the old one now for a year and a half. I went to the Olympics with the Propel in 2021 and I finished eight which is okay for your first Olympics, but it's not something people dream about. They don't wake up in the morning, they don't go out training every single day to finish eighth to the Olympics. Starting off the season, winning first race, going into the Olympic Games, winning an Olympic gold medal on the Propel, bringing it into the World Series again, and taking the overall title, but also the grand final win. I for sure have some unfinished business on my Propel, and for Paris 2024, I hope to to better that results and hopefully get the goal. People always want to ask me how the rivalry goes between me and Christian. I think the way both me and Gustav have been able to work together, like we have seen that together, it's easier to get stronger. And if we can help each other to become like one step better, it will both increase me and his chances for winning a race. The rivalry is most like us against the world. It is important for me to to beat him, but it's more important to, uh, to beat the rest of the world. We do train and race together as teammates until the last bit of the race where we then, okay, now it's time to crack together and try to take the win ourselves. Swimming is okay, running is also usually good, but cycling, it's truly something special. You feel so free. This sense of speed and going downhill and a sense of freedom going around. For me, cycling has always been the most fun part of being a triathlete. I always feel at home on my bike. When you have a bike that is combined between aerodynamic and stiffness and lightness, like we have now in the new Propel, it just brings the animal in you. You just want to go out and put it to test and prove that you can just fly through the race course. I've just been riding the bikes for three days. I tried it on cobblestones already because uh, the race this weekend is on cobblestones. I have tried it up the hill, down the hill, on the flat sections. It's crazy how one bike can do all those things. The Bergen World Cup is actually my first ever triathlon at home. It's going to be crazy to see my friends and family out there on race course supporting me. To have a World Cup downtown in the heart of Bergen feels very special. I remember like 10 years ago when I started training with Gustav, like that's something you sort of dream about. I just want to nail this one day because you do want to be that guy who's crossing that finish line first on home soil.
all these people get to enjoy where I'm from, where I grew up, where I've done basically all my training. It's a real proudness and uh, I feel really patriotic about Bergen. So it's, uh, it's special to have a race at home.